Welcome back to the Nerf Report Daily Roundup. My name is Brian. Today is Thursday, January 6th, and on today's episode, Amazon Luna announces four new video games coming to the platform, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2 could be coming this year, and Battlefield 2042 is free to play on Xbox right now. All of this and much, much more on today's episode of the Nerf Report. Are you listening? First up today, Amazon Luna has announced a bunch of new video games coming to the cloud gaming service for the month of January. With games like Rainbow Six Extraction and Monopoly Madness joining Luna's Ubisoft Plus channel, Kine will be arriving on Luna's family channel, and Hoko Life is now available for all Luna Plus subscribers. 9to5 Google has confirmed that Android TV and Google TV has grown to 110 million monthly active active users, which is up 30 million users since May of 2021. On top of that, Google confirmed that they are actively working with seven of the top 10 TV manufacturers in the world to embrace Android and Google TV in some sort, which the only reason we're talking about this is it could be huge news for Google's cloud gaming platform Stadia, which has already found itself home on several TVs like Samsung, TCL, and LG. Battlefield 2042 is now now free to play on Xbox until Sunday, January 9th for all Xbox Live Gold subscribers. The ESA has confirmed that this year's E3 will again be online only, with the organizers stating concerns over the COVID-19 pandemic causing this decision. Industry analyst Jeff Grubb revealed on the latest episode of Grub Snacks that a sequel to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order will be revealed this year, some point before E3. And there is is a solid chance that the game could launch in late 2022, but it is more likely to arrive in early 2023. A VR version of Avicii and Vector will be coming to the Oculus Quest 2 on January 27th. Lego has announced a new partnership with another video game giant, this time in the form of Sega, with the company creating a new Sonic the Hedgehog Green Hill Zone that is available right now for $69.99. PlayStation's Ghost of Tsushima has officially sold 8 million copies. Apex Legends dropped a trailer for the latest in-game event Dark Depths, which will add new cosmetics, a new arenas map, and much more. Apex Legends Dark Depths will begin on January 11th. The Video Game Chronicle is reporting that a PlayStation 5 remake of The Last of Us is nearly finished and could be releasing in 2022. With the article quoting industry analyst Tom Henderson, who has heard from multiple people that a Last of Us remake is likely to release sometime in the second half of 2022. And finally for today, Elder Scrolls Online will be announcing their next chapter filled with DLC and much more at their upcoming global reveal taking place on January 27th. Well, that wraps up today's top headlines from the world of gaming. If you want more daily gaming news in your life, make sure to support our channel by subscribing to the Nerf Report right here on YouTube. Hey, thanks again for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw and you want to see more content just like it, which who wouldn't, uh, hit the subscribe button right there. And while you're down there, hit the like button. Maybe even consider becoming a Nerf Report best friend, just like the people listed down below did. In fact, don't you want to see your name there? I know I do.